tend to stick out in Asian countries, you know what I mean? They look at me like I'm crazy or they be ooing and eyeing. I even will go back home and they look at me crazy. But it's usually because I look like this and I'm jumping out of something German with a body kit on it, you know what I'm saying? When I come here to tattoo, you know, people think I'm doing dragons and geisha girls all day. And most of the time I'm doing LA style tattoos. They can get the best Japanese tattoos here. So I end up doing a lot of my pinup girl portrait style, um, a lot of lettering. I love the script and old English lettering. Doing those LA icons, you know, is, they love it. I'm sleeving them down with it. 90% of the time it's LA icons. I think that the Japanese embrace LA culture because it's in a way similar to the Japanese culture where it can be a little bit more about family, driven loyalty, you know what I'm saying? My first tattoo was uh, getting, you know, my name, of course. Getting my handle on my arm, cartoon. Um, a little character above it, a little clown character with the AK-47. Then I just got the fever, kept getting tattooed. It wasn't until I got a little bit older I started seeing people coming with these tattoos that looked like they were from prison, but they were air, like airbrush almost, you know? And then I found out later that they were Jack Rudy tattoos. And these tattoos were coming from Good Time Charlie's. And that's what made me want to get tattoos. I've not done a color tattoo. Um, one time in Japan, they begged me to pump some red into a dragon's eye, and I did. But it's not considered a color tattoo. It wasn't filled in with color, you know what I mean? I dotted the eye with it. I just looked at the guys I was around, like Bob Roberts and Baby Ray. And why even attempt to do color, you know what I'm saying? It's, they got that down, you know, so seeing Charlie Roberts do color tattoos, I just stuck to my black and gray. Yeah, I didn't have any color tattoos on me, so um, I just stuck to what I wore. You know, we spend a lot of our time clowning and having fun and looking at life and, and, and making fun of it and war stories. And, my wife calls it bullshitting. It's something that you pick up from, from the fellas and, and I tend to hang out with characters, man. That's what we do is we rip each other all day. Uh, that's kind of where I got my name, Cartoon. It's not just for being an artist, but for being a fool. This machine. Hi. You know, having fun we do what we love to do. I mean, I, I love it. I love drawing. I love the, the passion of making something, you know. Um, designing these shoes for vans, and when I get the samples back, it's like Christmas, you know. What up, Mr. Cartoon, tattoo artist, part-time lover, full-time fool, right here in beautiful Tokyo. Been touring, I made it kind of a tattoo tour, but really the off the wall vans, promo gig, you know? So, I love it. I hope you love watching it. That's right.